What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and a few weeks ago I made a video on how to fix an LED LCD TV that has no picture. That could mean that it has a bad TCOM board, which is connected to the LCD panel, or bad main logic board. But if you put your flashlight to the screen and you do see a dark image, then it can mean that your um, inverter board is bad if you have an old style like LCD TV. But if you have a new uh, LED TV, then it could be the defective LED driver board that is bad, or um, the LED strips itself are defective. The video I made a few weeks ago, it ended up being that the LED strips itself were bad, and uh, I, showed you, I showed you how basically to dismantle the whole TV and replace the LED strips. If you wanna save some money, and if you're doing this for a living, you may wanna um, make some extra profit, and right here we have that possibility to do so with the repair kit for the LED strips. And thanks to shopjimmy.com, they sent me a couple items I'm gonna demonstrate and I'm gonna show you how to use and I'm gonna show you how to fix the LED backlight itself in this video. So what you're gonna need is the LED backlight tester, the LED repair kit, and the shopjimmy.com LED rework station. Everything that you see in this video, I'm gonna leave links in the video description below if you're interested where I got them at. All right, so we're gonna put our meter probes right here on the test point. The plus is where the red positive probe goes, and the minus symbol on that copper pad is where the black probe is going to go. And the tester is going to put a load on the LED strips. All right, so on this LED strip right here, R2, there's two LEDs that are out on the R2 strip, and then the L2 strip, there's only one LED that's defective, and you mark that one. So we're gonna be replacing three LEDs. So it's cool that this thing works under, um, it, it gives you um, a low voltage and it increases to a higher voltage. And the reason why is because when you're watching TV and your backlight settings are low, basically it's applying low voltage to the LED strips. Now when you increase the backlight settings on your TV, it's basically just increasing the voltage to the LED strips. And right now we're at 33 volts or 34 volts. If you're watching your TV, I highly suggest setting your backlight settings to the middle setting. Don't increase your backlight settings to maximum value. You're gonna burn out your LED strips. Let's go ahead and remove the diffuser, just like that. And you don't need to put any solder on the pad because it's very, very little um, solder needed. So I'm just gonna tin the tip of my soldering iron and that should be enough. And you just wanna tap it just like that. All right, then you're gonna take this and you wanna clean the surface right here. Then we're gonna take our LEDs you can use the old diffuser or you can use the new ones. It doesn't really matter. You can use the old ones if you want to use the old ones, but you just gotta clean them off. And that you'll notice on the LED strip, one solder pad is bigger than the other solder pad. And if you take a look at the LEDs that they give you, one side, contact side, is bigger than the other contact side. So we're gonna set it down. And just gonna hold it there for a couple seconds until it falls into place. There we go. All right, so that is the one that we just replaced. Let's go ahead and test it and see if we fixed it. Look at that, it works. So now we could glue the diffuser back on. So I have super glue right here, my wife's nail brush uh, super glue. And let's go ahead and we're gonna just put the diffuser on right here and let's place it on. And then hold it there for a couple seconds. And now we just gotta fix the other two. Let's go ahead and remove this. There we go. Heat that up a little bit. 
About 10 seconds later, you should be able to pull it right off. Here we go. Get some flux. Get some flux, clean the surface. Now let's go ahead and tin the soldering iron. Let's check and the solder pads are not soldered together. That is a good thing. Let's clean the surface right here. And make sure the back of the LED, the big contact is facing the same uh, big solder pad on the LED strip. And about five to seven seconds, it should be fine. All right, and it should fall right into place. You'll notice that it'll just drop right into place. There you go. You don't even really have to do anything. Let's go ahead and test it, make sure it works. And it does. So if you guys are interested in the LED backlight repair kit or the LED backlight tester or the LED strip rework station. All the links will be in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that has a defective TV that has no picture, help them out by click on the share button below and share this video to them. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe button. Thanks guys for watching.